Ready? Mm-hmm. It's just before 6 a.m. here in Verota. And we're walking to meet our taxi driver who is going to take us to Hoverla. And we're going to hike up Ukraine's tallest mountain. made it to the trailhead there's two different routes and so they recommend that you go up like the longer less steep one which is four kilometers and then you come down sort of like the shorter steeper one which is three and a half kilometers so we tried to get here early like both to beat the crowds and beat the heat but as you can see it's seven o'clock it's like the middle of august and it's pretty cold in the morning so it's chilly it's chilly so we're gonna start walking so we wake up <laughs> and get warm. are about an hour and a half in to the hike. We've hiked uh, up about 350 meters, I think. We've got about another 1.2 kilometers and 400 meters left to go. We're above the tree line now, but as you can see, there's still some vegetation here. It's really pretty. <laughs> I can see why people make this a bucket list item. The views are really nice. We've gotten like out of the line with all of the bushes. This really nice plateau with great views. There's a sign here that says it's only half a kilometer to the top and it's gonna take us 40 minutes. We'll see. One of the bartenders in Ivano Frankivsk told me that babushkas could do this in their slippers. Not my grandma. We're almost there. Oh. I mean. Wow. about three hours of hiking, we've made it to the top of Goverla, Ukraine's tallest mountain at 2,061 meters. This has been a Ukraine bucket list item for me for a while, so yay! <laughs> we did it! So 
as far as difficulty goes, I would say that hiking to Averla is definitely like a moderate hike. It's not super easy, but people have come up here with their kids. I'm not particularly in shape because, you know, it's 2020 and I've been doing a lot of sitting around the house, not doing much of anything, but uh, it's still very manageable. So as long as you don't have any sort of long term, long standing injuries, you should be able to do it. It's, it's difficult sometimes, but it's definitely worth it too. finishing our hike up Coverla and we came down the blue path instead of the green path and the blue path is supposed to be steeper and shorter and it really was like significantly steeper it kind of seems like in the spring when the like the snow melts it all comes down the same way that the people walk so there's a lot of loose rock it feels like you're walking in a dry river bed basically so it is a little bit tricky at times. But it only took us about two hours to walk down from the mountain. It was nice to go a different way and the views again were beautiful. So we stopped here. Is this as far as we go? Or does he drive us more? Well he's gonna take us more. We just have to pay for the for his for the for the car. Oh okay. Okay, good. It's still a really long walk away, yeah. so I was a little bit nervous. <laughs> and we came down... Oh, the food's ready already. <laughs> it's just... It's just 6 a.m. Um, here, it's just before 6 a.m. It's just right... <laughs> There's a bug right in front of the lens. 